my name is Arnaud Bossin. And my name is Alexis Auchin. And as you can hear, we come from France. Mm. Right now, I'm working at Zumanity as dancer. And uh, I'm a dancer as well and physical actor, and I'm working with uh, different companies in Europe. We have a great history with ACS actually. It's our uh, what, third time, third time as yes. choreographer. First one was Memoration in 2016, second one Sparkles in the next year. And it was a very enriching experience in terms of creation because we also discovered how we work together and how we actually work with dancers and with everyone that's in, in, involved in the production team, in the lightning department, in the stage management department. It's such an experience that gives you the tool to really work after, I mean, because it's exactly what you're going to do after as a choreographer. So it's a recreation of the professional world. And it's a confirmation that we love to do that. Yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Even if we want to kill each other. But <laughs> performer who can interpret and they can perform and dance without their egos like that it will be more uh, honest feeling a honest uh, sensation and if something honest comes from them the reaction will be like really yeah. strong and powerful and laugh again <laughs> of the piece it comes from both of us and I, I feel like more and more people are becoming aware of the, the issues that we are facing nowadays with the consuming society that we live in and that we are more aware with the scientific discoveries that it's not working with how the, the earth works so we cannot consume as we are and we need to change and it feels like we know more and more and more about that, but yet we don't change our habits. This piece is really a necessity. It's like a call for help. This piece, which is called Hubris, is a cry for help and a, a last call for sanity because we are on the point where we need to make a, a drastic change in the way we're living. If we want to make this planet inhabitable for ourselves and our future generation, this is the main base, this is the raging forces underneath the piece. The other inspiration is a poem by Dylan Thomas, which is called Raging Against the Dying of the Light. Very strong poem about that you need to find to fight against the darkness of things. And uh, one last uh, music. inspiration is the music, yeah. The, it's a coronation music uh, from uh, Endel. And it's a uh, music that is a coronation anthem that's being played when the kings and the queens of England are being anointing queen. A music that is played at the point of transition where someone is coming from human to the incarnation of God on earth and what we did find interesting in, the, in that music is the, this transition is the transition that needs to happen within every one of us we need to become our own queen and kings we need to become this transcended version of ourselves to be able to live in harmony with the planet otherwise we are lost and uh, that's what Pina Bausch said, like dance, dance, otherwise we are lost and we feel like dance is a great medium to speak and reach directly to the soul of people because you don't read it with your mind, you, f you feel it with your heart and that's very important for us. Mm -hmm.